Welcome back everybody. I've got this delightful orchid in bloom for you today. It's my Gomisa crisper. It's a species orchid from Brazil. It's a medium sized orchid that I find relatively easy to grow. It's also fondly referred to as little man orchid. I do think they look more like little angels. Looks like they have wings. So it's growing very nicely for me at the moment. I've got about six spikes this year, and one that sadly didn't make it. You'll see that on the right hand side. There's a little discoloration on the leaves. I did give this a little more sun this year, and as a result, compared to last year, I seem to have better flowering. That'll give you a little idea of the flowers themselves. The spikes are around about 15 to 20 centimetres long. And there's two fairly large leaves per pseudo bulb. There's the spike that didn't quite make it. I have checked deep down in it for pests and I couldn't see anything there. So I don't know whether something may have just attacked it in the greenhouse. You'll see it's showing signs of being divisible into two when I look at it straight ahead. It's a scrambling grower. It's got loads and loads of aerial roots. And I have detected a slight floral fragrance, but not strong at all. This is going to be an easy orchid to propagate by removing pieces at the side or repotting it. My plant is definitely showing signs there of being divisible in two. Now I'll stand here to give you an idea of the size of the plant. I believe this is about as big as it will get. I have been reading about this and it does grow in moist forests. I shared this plant with a friend. We bought it at an auction and we divided it and had a piece each. Mine has successfully multiplied and grown on. He had planted it up for me in the um, medium bark and it's just in a standard pot. I'm considering when I repot this orchid I may put half back into the original pot and I may try putting half into a water well pot and again just see what the difference will be. It's a gorgeous thing, very, very beautiful orchid. I currently have it, this in the house and it's quite a showpiece. It's got these soft yellow blooms and they grow either side of the flower spikes. I have this hanging in my greenhouse. I have put it up higher this year, as I said, and that's why you'll see that little discoloration on the leaves, giving it a little more bright light. And as a result, I have got more blooms this year. There's the standard pot. So there's no water retention there. And in the summer, I do try to water well at least once a day. So we've got the older bulbs at the back. They've shed their leaves. And I think once this is flowered and it's uh, finished, I will consider repotting it and making two plants out of it. It's a joy to have in the house, I must say. Very nice orchid. Now the other thing I will do when I repot this is I move all those dry, uh, crumbly, pieces around like the sheaths around where the new growths come because I find that in this type of growth habit of an orchid I always get pests in them or well, that's where they're going to hide if there's going to be any at all. Take them off and then there's nowhere for anyone to hide. Now this is not a difficult orchid to come by. I've seen it uh, at several auctions so if you can get your hands on a piece I think it's well worth your while. This grows in my greenhouse with really no special treatment. Gets watered with all the other orchids. 
and I fertilize it with slow release at the beginning of the growing season. On average, there's about 25 to 30 blooms per spike. And confirming I have about six spikes. This has now been in bloom for around about two to three weeks and it's still looking fresh. I would say it's at least got another three weeks in, in the condition that it's in. I have this inside at the moment and I'm watering very sparingly. It looks stunning in the house. Thank you for sharing another orchid video with me. I hope you like my Gomisa crisper as much as I do. Whoever thought orchid growing could be so much fun. Keep smiling.